so now we talk about delta complexes so what are delta complexes so if you cut a square along a diagonal you can produce two triangles the idea is that every polygon can be cut along its diagonals into triangles and uh, this these triangles then uh, form a fundamental building block of the polygon and these triangles essentially then constitute a delta complex so the following idea you for example you take a torus then you can cut it into triangles so the triangles are glued together along edge c which i will draw in a minute yeah so a b normal torus then we have this edge c so along edge c we glue two triangles together to get a torus and there is a single vertex v so we see that how a two dimensional polygon has been oriented and cut up to form a torus similarly with projective plane real projective plane rp2 now rp2 will have two vertices v and w again we triangulate it or cut it uh, uh, cut it along the diagonal we properly orient the edges a b c then notice that uh, a and a are in opposite direction similarly top b and lower b are in opposite direction compare this with torus yeah and it has two vertices v and w third we write a klein bottle so this you can find on page 102 of hatcher so again i draw a rectangle cut the two dimensional surface along the diagonal as i have done in the last two figures let us give the orientations so notice that two sides of a are in opposite directions left and right but top and bottom are in the same direction yeah b is in the same direction a is in opposite direction and c as always along the diagonal so klein bottle is exactly like torus one vertex but the vertical edges in opposite directions so as mentioned before you can do such a triangulation for any polygon so basically all you uh, all you have to do is cut a polygon along diagonals or you can say that you can construct a polygon from basic building block of triangles by gluing triangles appropriately along edges so we want to generalize this construction of triangles into further or higher dimensions so we want to find basically building blocks triangles are building blocks in two dimensions so what is the analog of triangle in higher dimension now easily you can see triangle becomes a tetrahedron in for three dimensional space so for n dimensional space the analog is a n simplex So what is an n simplex? So n simplex is not nothing but a convex set in a Euclidean space R n, and it contains n plus one points. Yeah, from v zero, v one to v n. These are the n plus one points. 
and these points do not lie in a hyperplane of dimension less than n. So, so uh, yeah, basically we do not want this to become a flat surface. Or we can say the, the following difference vectors are linearly independent. Yeah, this is the equivalent condition.